welcome to another weekly studio vlog. It's feeling very spring-like at the moment. I'm really enjoying having a bit more daylight. So that's been really lovely. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier to get out of bed <laughs> in the morning and just makes the days feel longer, which is nice. Oh, we got our first daffodil in the garden. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to all the flowers popping up in the garden and it being nice and like spring-like. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking, how is it March already? Like, yeah, we're in the middle of March and we're already one third of the way through 2021. And that seems kind of a little bit crazy. But anyway, welcome to another weekly studio vlog. Today I've got some orders to pack so I'm gonna pack those in a minute. I also need to make something for March Meet the Maker which I'm sure you've heard of but it's like a kind of prompt challenge thing and it's created by Joanne Hawker I think her name is. I'm pretty sure her name's Hawker maybe I should double check. Joanne... it is Joanne Hawker. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm taking part in March Meet the Maker, which is run by Joanne Hawker. It's mostly for like creatives, um, like people who run small businesses and shops and artists and stuff like that. I've attempted it a couple of times before and I think I've actually mentioned it in some old videos of mine. But this is the first year where I've actually got two separate Instagram accounts. I've got like one for my illustration and one for my shop and so far i'm finding that a little bit easier even though you can do much meet the maker as an artist i feel like the prompts are slightly more kind of geared towards like people who run a shop yeah so i'm finding that having it kind of separate is helping i don't know if i'll actually complete it all this year i've never once finished the challenge before even if i don't complete the whole challenge i'm actually really enjoying having the prompts because i don't know about you but when i'm trying to share like stuff that i've made i never want to come across as like really spammy and so sometimes it's a little bit hard and you have to kind of force yourself to like talk about what you've made and so it's nice to have like a prompt sheet that can kind of give you ideas of like what to talk about because sometimes I feel like I'm staring at that blank page for ages and I'm like I have no idea what to write. So if you know any other like prompt things especially for like small businesses or like shops let me know because yeah I'd really like to take part in those as well. But yeah I think I'm just gonna crack on finish my cup of tea and then pack those orders. clothes on my desk because I'm planning on filming a TikTok and I want to I've got all my pins in here yeah I want to film a TikTok of like my pins in use because this is actually for March Meets the Maker so basically I want to yeah do a little kind of TikTok real thing on my phone of like with the pins on some different outfits but it's going to be zoomed in quite close because obviously I want to, people to be able to see. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna, as usual, just have a, an experiment and play around and see what I come up with. It is currently raining so much. You can see how dark it is in this room as well. There's a lot of rain. This is not great filming conditions right now. I managed to do it even though it was getting really, really dark. On the camera, it's coming up. It's more overexposed and then the background's really dark. <laughs> so it's getting a little bit confused, but 
if you want to see it properly go check out my instagram or my tiktok because that's where i'm going to be uploading it i've um chosen a cool song by stevie nicks as well if you make pins yourself this could be like quite a cute way of doing like a little video so i now have this lovely pile of clothes to put away i didn't even use all of these <laughs> i just <laughs> i wanted options right okay so something <laughs> Something I have recently realised, I've actually forgotten to order these mermaid pins. Yeah, so this was the new design that I'd done and I'd made like the scales bigger and then I started like I duplicated it because I was going to do some different colours and I just completely forgot and then I moved on to doing the botanical bugs like you know the um I've decided that's what I'm going to call them now the botanical bugs so that's uh, my bee with the lavender in it and my ladybird and, and the different color butterflies that I'm doing as well sidetrack I did a poll on Instagram because I couldn't decide if I wanted a blue butterfly a green butterfly or a red butterfly and it was like a really mixed vote so I've decided to get them all so I've ordered those yeah I just completely forgot to actually order the mermaid yeah I really wanted these in soon because in May there's this thing called mermaid I mean obviously mermaids aren't just for May <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm just gonna do the exact colors that I did before or if I'm gonna do any new colors or different colors so I might spend a little bit of time working that out but yeah i just can't believe that i haven't ordered those <laughs> oh dear speaking of pins i've also got some more pins coming which are actually reorders um so a couple of the woodlands and all pins were running really low especially the foxes they've been the most popular so yeah i've got some of those coming today so i have had some more pins delivered these are actually like more foxes and hedgehogs because i was running out um i did actually ask my manufacturer if they could wrap them up in tissue paper but they've obviously forgotten rosie from pin and ink she suggested that but i did actually order these just before like the chinese new year so i think in that time they've just they've had their holiday and they've forgotten um i've also got loads of these rubber backs i just i'm really liking having rubber backs at the moment because i feel like it means that it's less likely to scratch like if they have the metal backs i feel like those can scratch more these are spare ones because I thought I might want to update some of the other ones that I've got. But yeah, I need to go through them. But yeah, they look great. They look just like the other ones. And I'm very pleased that I've got some more because look, I'm down to my last two foxes. So <laughs> yeah, I'm very glad that I've got some more of these. Yeah, also I kind of wish that the rubber backs were a slightly darker blue, but I think this is the darkest blue that they had. But it would have been great if I could have got them to like match my tissue paper. I think that would look really cool, but I think these blue ones will look really good as well. Okay, it is a lot later as you can probably see from the terrible lighting and I've just been colouring in so many mermaids so I've like coloured in these are kind of like the original ones that I had um, but with like the slightly simplified design and then I've just been like going to town like there's actually some layers hidden as well there's like so many different <laughs> versions I quite like this colour oh yeah and then I did like this lady with pink hair I've just got so many and like I feel like I'm overloading my brain with decisions but hopefully I will make a decision soon. I don't know, maybe I should sleep on it and decide in the morning. Good morning, it is like 7 o'clock in the morning. I forgot to show you the Hisense and I thought I should probably show them to you before like they completely go off. I mean they're kind of going off a little bit at the moment. I don't actually think that these pots are big enough for the bulbs because once these like head things grow i don't know if that's the right term <laughs> once the flowers grow um they just become like really heavy and they were all kind of falling over we also have this ginormous flower which i have no idea what this is called but yeah tom's grandma got us that for christmas 
I think this pink one <laughs> is kind of it's kind of going off now maybe um I tied it together with string because it was falling over but now it's just I think it's just as you can see all going to the left it's uh it's not looking too happy. We've also moved a bunch of the little plants that were in my packing room down here. So we've got a nice little plant shelf in the kitchen. This is a really special stick to me and Tom, which sounds really strange, but we actually got this on our honeymoon. We just went to this place where they were doing like all different like art and stuff. Like, you know, with those pens where you kind of burn the wood and you can like draw things in we'd never seen anything like that before so they gave us this demonstration they just found this stick and they wrote our name on it so yeah that's our special stick <laughs> hammy is snoozing look at this little paw oh <laughs> hello do you see that eye open on oh, close again going back to sleep okay i'll leave you be I think I might have decided what colours I'm going to go for for the mermaid. I mean, I kind of keep changing my mind a bit, but maybe I should tell you this once I've actually have ordered them. Otherwise, I'll say that I'm going to order them and then I'll forget. <laughs> and I'll be thinking, what are these mermaid pins? Like, oh yeah, I haven't ordered them. I think I might actually have a little bit of a cooking break because I've been getting really into cooking and I absolutely love the green roasting tin book. I'm working my way through all the recipes in that, but I'm just really enjoying chopping stuff up and roasting it in the oven because it kind of does it itself a little bit. It's, um, you don't need to be standing there staring. I am gonna have a go at making this recipe. It's like a ratatouille thing baked in the oven. So I've got a load of aubergine and courgette. What else do I need? I need, some pepper. Oh, I don't actually have any basil, but I'll just, other than some tiny basil that we're growing that is literally like this big. I'm gonna make this and I'll pop it in the oven and hopefully it will be delicious. Left your motor, pull Miss Girls until my message you the baby, snap out of Say hi, give me that a go. So the recipe says you're meant to put like vegan parmesan or something on this. Um, I've kind of made my own, which is like ground up almonds and nutritional yeast and like some garlic and stuff. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on and then it's going back in the oven. This is how the verde is coming along. We still haven't got strawberries yet, but look at this lovely little garden. So this is a spice mix. Uh, what is this? I can't even remember. I think this is broccoli. Doesn't look anything like broccoli. That is radish. And then these are tiny little lettuces. But yeah, these are all like microgreens. So we're actually gonna eat some of these now. I'm guessing this radish is gonna be really kind of spicy. But yeah, we're gonna kind of have them like on a salad or something. Snip, snip. Is that enough for our salad? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so here are the mermaids that I'm gonna go with. Um, I hope you can see the colors okay, because we're now on the computer. I always like to kind of finish off my pin designs in Photoshop, or like I've already designed them like on the iPad, but I just want to like do the Pantone colors. And I don't think there's a library for Pantone colors um, on the iPad, but like in Photoshop, you can go to color libraries and it will give you the Pantone color. Now, obviously this will kind of vary quite a lot because like computer monitors um, will vary in color. And you can buy a Pantone color book, but they're like really expensive. So this is just the way that I do it. So I'm just gonna basically do the little swatches next to each of these and then write down what the number is. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna order them. But yeah, so we're very nearly there. So I've actually ordered the pins. Oh, I'm so happy. Also, it is five o'clock now and it's still sunny. Yeah, so I have ordered eight different colors. I'm really, really excited to see them all. 
and yeah i'll have to do like a little photo shoot and stuff when they come and hopefully they still come with enough time for money anyway i'm going to end the studio vlog here and stop rambling but i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and yeah i am sending you lots and lots of love i hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and i will see you next wednesday for another video okay bye oh i don't really feel that breath is that from going up the stairs maybe <laughs> um i think this year <coughs> need more tea this is rambly already <laughs> this or if you're planning on doing something why is it so bright wow that's a long way of saying that so i'm like working my throat what Ugh. these long um wow i've just stopped talking <laughs> dun, 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 dun. thank you for coming i know that you're trying